everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Galactic Civ 3, continuing with our Terran Alliance campaign. So, what do we want to do in this episode? I think the number one thing we want to focus on is getting our income better. Uh, I think what's going to help that is being able to switch up our government here. Interstellar Banking. We switched it over to Interstellar Banking. I don't remember if that was on... Um, or not, but that's gonna get us the interstellar protocrity government Which is the next tree Yeah, and I think we're gonna go ahead and switch over there That's gonna get us more income But more than that, it's gonna make our people happier because we're not gonna have as much negative for having such a large empire Because we're five colonies over Ugh, ugh. it's getting to the point where we want to switch it um, one more time um, I don't know if that's going to affect our influence uh, or how much it's going to affect our influence by, but, you know, we can always just throw down more freaking uh, constructor ships. So let's bring you up here because there's torts on over there that we could go grab eventually. And then, you know what? Um, what ships are we building? I think the gunboats, right? Yeah, six and two. Seems really powerful. But we do know our neighbors are building those as well, but I think that's fine for now. Uh, we could customize our own ship. I really don't want to customize my own ship. Uh, if I did do it, it would be like off camera, just because I don't really want to worry about it right now. So, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Beam weapons would be interesting. If I gave you a non-aggression pack and a research treaty and a free... How much money? You only have 18 gold. <laughs> Would you give me a snuggler colony or two? So give me four snugglers and give me a bunch of Illyrium. And we'll do we'll do it right before it jumps. So let's do like 18. I know we have so much. Okay, let's go to right where the 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 break is and then so then we can keep going snugglers until we get that break I guess and I'm just I'm debating about grabbing whoopsie I was debating about grabbing more Promethean even though we really don't need it upgrading all our stuff was giving us um, yeah let's do something like that and then sure and sure we'll go here so no 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 I don't want your ship <laughs> I was trying to click out the ships. Okay, so we're getting beam weapons for one tech, and then I'm giving him a bunch of stuff, and he's going to give me a bunch of stuff. Sure. Sure. All right. I'll live with that. Now we have a bunch more resources up there. Uh, we actually didn't have that much Illyrium, so that was pretty good for us. Can we upgrade our mining facility? No. And our mining's pretty um, old at this point. We do potentially... Our government's insufficient. I know we're working on that. Uh, Kryn are dangerous. Sorry, but I'm not going to go declare war on someone else. Um, question, question, question. I would like to potentially upgrade all our star bases. You are fully upgraded. You are fully upgraded. You could be upgraded, but I don't think so. I think if anyone, I would upgrade you. Do we really? I just don't know. Let's try upgrading this. Yeah, let's throw down all three of these. So we have three really strong star bases right now pushing on Drenji. And I don't know if that's enough to actually do anything. We have New Arizona over here. Oh, forgot about you. So if you're New Arizona, then that means we should name you to uh, New... New Mex New New Mexico? <laughs> sure. We already have New Utah, don't we? I don't think we do, actually. Because then that could be... No, we have Idaho, so then you're probably going to be New Utah. Honestly, maybe this one should be... Eh, we maybe should switch these around, but whatever. I don't care. I don't care that much. Uh, New Chicago. Let's see, what do you got? Your approval's great. We do have a slot over here, and I think this was going to be for our preparedness center. Yeah. Pretty sure that was for the preparedness center. So let's knock out some preparedness centers. We will keep doing gunboats, although we might actually have a better beam ship now. We should have a better beam ship now because we did just trade for beam weapons, but whatever. Let's get a couple gunboats. Actually, you no, know, I should probably go with treasure hunters, but sure, whatever. Whatever. We'll do that for now. We'll do it for now. We'll switch it up here in a little bit. We're making 17 gold per turn, so uh, that did go up a little bit, which is nice. 
Are we going to go piss off the bug people next, I'm assuming? Probably. Also, yeah, remember, I got to upgrade all of these freaking... Um, yeah, all of these star bases need to be upgraded. Oh, snap. Tensions have been reduced. So Soul ended up just flipping back. Now, did they conquer it or did they just flip it? So they actually have quite a bit. Um, the Torians actually have quite a bit of culture uh, over here. So they're going to be a little hard to flip. Eh, 1100. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but not really. I would love to see you actually rebelling at some point. That would that would make me really happy. Same thing over here with refuge. Zero percent rebellion. Um, did we not? Where did we start throwing our other star bases up here? So we're gonna start flipping you. So the question remains. I don't think I think this is their last colony right now. Heavy shielded by a dense magnetic field. Part of me just wants to like you know. Uh, let's grab another administrator. Although we can't really afford to build more star bases, but okay. Uh, how's our new Austin money going? New Austin money, uh, you're at 119. Yeah, yeah, we will get interstellar banking, uh, and that government type's gonna help us a little bit. We can't do anything over here, so all we were doing was the aid research. Cool. Uh, new Montana? I think once again we're gonna do a preparedness center. It's not gonna give us uh, any direct um bonus but i very 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 much want the uh the points per turn treasure hunters yeah a couple treasure hunters that's good that's good that's good so let's actually f focus over here with ashfield first let's grab you and then we'll start pushing that way and we can't afford you because that's 200 so we're just shy of that we're gonna start pushing this direction actually maybe i should have gone for this one first yeah, maybe I should go for that one next then. Okay, we can do that. We'll wait till we get 300. Uh, so we did get our new government. Sweet. Uh, may want to knock out economic focus. Give me income. Tourism income. I think we want to probably increase our trader out bonus. Actually, how, how long was this? Six turns? That's not going to take that long. Where did Gar grab to you? So we could do Galactic Trade, which gives us more licenses. Financial sector gives us more bank stuff. Yeah, I think let's go here. Let's go here. Let's give me income plus 15%. I don't think we're getting a lot of tourism. Yeah, we don't really have the tourism buildings either, so let's just do the trade route income because I know we have the trade routes. You are going to be another preparedness center. So, <laughs> New Mongolia. <laughs> uh, is that how you spell Mongolia? Mongolia, I think so. I don't know. So it's going to take a little while before another um, trade. Uh, um, what are those called? Oh, yeah, I forgot to switch my government. Hi. Oop, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Once changed, yes. Switch. Okay. So now what I wanted to see, we have research, gross income, construction, resisted. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't carry over. I was wondering if uh, our previous bonuses were going to carry over, and it doesn't appear they do. So we do have an administrator. Uh, her oversight is plus 10 research, 10% income, 10% production, 10% morale. So probably over Earth then. Unfortunately, I'm assuming... Oh, what happened? Ugh. Ugh, okay. Uh, still. New... Actually making more money now. No, New Austin's actually making more money. How the heck did that happen? Tourism income, maybe? Yeah, I have no idea how that actually happened. So where's our ship? Minister Jen, you need to go over here to Earth. God, our population got so big, so our approval is so terrible there now. So I could really use some more approval. I wonder if maybe we trash one of these factories. What is your production? Your construction is at... Yeah. If we got rid of you, we could do approval. Paradise Center. This is also plus two to approval. So maybe it'd be better to get rid of the space elevator. Then we can get the approval bonus. And... Eh, that's got a plus two right there, though. Yeah. 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 I need more freaking terraforming opportunities. 
I think we're gonna destroy you. Yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and knock out a entertainment center here. It's gonna take a little bit, actually two turns, and that's gonna just give me plus one morale. Which, what is our current morale right now? 6.1? Yeah, about half of 13. So that's why we're at 45%. So it's gonna put me at 7.1, which is gonna put us a little above 50%. We only have an 80% happiness right now, even with our new government type, which kinda sucks. So we may wanna actually, after this trade economy, go and get us uh, better happy buildings. Because I'm assuming then, yeah, we have quite a few unhappy planets at this point. New Russia, New China, New Japan, New Mongolia, New Arizona, New Mars. All are pretty unhappy with us. So yeah, yeah, we might want to look for happy buildings at this point. Speaking of which, you are fully happy, and this is New Boston with our research. We were grabbing new research buildings. Technological capital, one per player. Is this our best research planet? It's only at 24, so I don't think so. Yeah, I really don't think so. Civ, let's look at research. Right now, Earth is at 41. Why? We do have Computer Core, which allows, got me plus one research. Maybe we should actually trash these. So what's our base research over here? So our base research is 17. So then we were looking at New Boston, and your base research is 11. I don't know. Plus three to research gives me a three and a three. Okay, let's look at it this way. So it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's gonna be a plus 19 now. Plus then it increases it by 33%. So this should theoretically be higher research over a long period of time. Uh, we can start popping out constructors again. We can start popping out constructors again. Uh, what? <laughs> what? What? Holy crap, man. Dude. Dude. Wow, we should have switched our government type a long time ago. Holy God, I don't actually need this trade economy anymore. Well, we might as well finish it. Oh gosh, okay, so this is probably good. So here's the thing. Now we can actually afford to upgrade everything. And we're gonna be able to afford to upgrade it pretty quickly. Like every turn, we're gonna be able to, you know, upgrade one or two more buildings. So sure, sure. Wow. 500 per turn. Oh, uh, that's ridiculous. So I'm assuming then our trade routes are, yeah, not bad. They're not as great, but yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, we definitely don't need to go for money buildings ever again. At least until we switch governments again. But I'm assuming our influence is probably going to be bad. No, sorry. Sorry, Slyn. Also, what Starbase? Where are the slin? Which one is the slin? You are the circle guys. Ah, up here. Yeah, we started pushing against them. This wasn't slin before, so he just conquered both of these. Yeah, these all switched because these weren't slin before. All right, well, sorry about that, but yeah, no, no. Are you rebelling? No, not yet. Both of you guys are okay. Go ahead and upgrade you and upgrade you. Yep. You're okay. And grab you. Did the archaeology lab? Um, then give me more constructors. Idle ship. This is a constructor on Earth. That finished in one turn. <laughs> it said two turns, but that was one turn. Okay, so since we're going and grabbing some stuff over here. Is there anything else worth grabbing over here? Like any other planets? No, just over here with the Iconians. Is that where we're gonna go next? Maybe. We still don't have a, uh, we still don't have a, a star base down there, which might be good for us. So, okay, let's go next. 
We didn't change 11 foreign ships in our borders. Our military ranks number one, which is fine. So that's why I don't really care if we piss everyone off. Ah, you know, I never noticed the Starbase tab. So tensions have been reduced. Cool. I don't really want to click through them that way. That's so a lot more difficult, I think, than actually clicking through. So you're fully upgraded. You're fully upgraded. You're fully upgraded. You are now fully upgraded. And that was all my money. So we still need to upgrade you and you. Yeah, so just these two are the only two left. And then this one over here. Okay, so one, two, three. So we are starting to eat some of the territory here. You are not rebelling yet. You are not rebelling yet. You are not rebelling. Here's the other thing. I wonder, uh, is our influence lower here now? Eh, 4,000. That seems pretty high. You're at 1,700. So I feel like you should be... Oh, man. Just annoying, because I feel like they should be rebelling at this point. Uh, so did we want to do a preparedness center here? It's not going to give us anything. Instead... I almost feel like we should go with an entertainment center. Because we already got the market building surrounding it, so... Not like we need the population, but sure. Or not like we need the happiness on that planet, but sure. Mm, okay, so we may want to send another one over here then. I think we're going to work on Toria and then we're going to come grab some of this stuff, so sure. Uh, we can put a starbase uh, over here somewhere. Another shipyard idol. We're out of administrators already, so... Come here. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Let's go treasure hunts again. That was a nice little bit of money. Not like we need the money, though, that I say that, but sure. Treasure Hunters got 224. Cool. I was confused there because our income only went up by 200, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> We're making more than 200 per turn. What the heck's going on? We could upgrade you. Don't think that's worth it. Same thing down there. I don't think this is worth it. So I would very much love to see some of these plans actually start flipping. Uh, research. Okay, so we got trade economy, so we're making even more money per turn. So let's go grab uh, some stuff that's going to give us happiness. So stadium, sure. And then we'll go approval focus. How long is that? Six turns? Approval focus. These are all eight turns. Plus four morale in all of our colonies is going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, we want, we want to go straight up for easy to please. So I'm okay with that. Between both these buildings, our happiness should be good. Um, that's going to allow us to bump up our income too. Not that we really need more income, but sure. Uh, it's going to allow us to at least. Uh, you're still not... Yeah, so maybe we need to go influence then again. I think what we were waiting on in influence was... Can we build anything over here in New Austin? No, 220 per turn. We can actually do some upgrades. We're gonna go there. Do we, we don't need approval here. I wonder if I should build a city. I actually feel like we should build a city, right? It's gonna bone, uh, get a boost to all my uh, dudes right here. And then we probably need another entertainment network. I don't know, maybe I want the city here then. Eh, I just feel it's better there. Get more construction too. Okay. Treasure hunt. Do we want to do any of these? This gives me armor, Helios, Pilgrims. Gives me Promethean. Wait. You know, let's do some Pilgrims. Let's increase our influence and see if that does anything. Sure, let's do Pilgrims again. We have a ton of Promethean. Do we have the Virals? Not a lot. So let's try it twice and see what happens. Uh, then down here, uh, we have another ship in New Boston. So we gonna put one there, one there. Probably put one over here then. You ended up flipping back again. Okay. Uh, now with our money, remember, we're not trying to upgrade you. We wanna upgrade these guys down here. Why can't... Oh, we're out of Prometheans. Ah, snap. So let me see. So maybe I shouldn't use the two Promethean costs then. Yeah, okay. What was, where were our shipyards that we just used? Neither of those are our shipyards. <laughs> Uh, can I actually do anything with those shipyards, I wonder? You're a treasure hunting. 
You are pilgrims, so let's actually cancel one of our pilgrims then. Uh, just because I want to get four Prometheans back, and we'll do Gunboat again. Uh, okay, and then Trade Offer. This is what we're looking for. So, hold up. Hold up. I just want to look at a zero, nothing. Yeah, just give me nothing. Okay, let's go back to start. So you have Mining point one, or Beam Range. I will take the Mining. Don't give a crap about the other one. And I'll give you a little bit of money because we have tons of freaking money. Yeah, this will be fine. I'm okay with this. Uh, diplomacy. So we're looking for Prometheans. I should have freaking he had so many Prometheans too, which is the funny thing. You don't have Prometheans, but you do have a lot of stuff. Mega factory. Utopian government. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Armor piercing. These are all weapons, kinetic weapons. This is better armor. Sure. Sure, we'll do this. And then we can get more Duranium. Man, I don't really like that. Uh, My dad's calling me. I think he's calling me about lunch. Uh, One second, I'm going to uh, mute the mic. All right, my parents are offering me a uh, Burger King, so I had to take that. Anyways, uh, okay, so we are looking for a uh, Promethean. You only have 10, so uh, hey, we should probably be telling everyone we want to be friends with them. Just, you know, hey, 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 friends, friends, friends. You don't like me, but, you know, friends. Actually, no, you do like me, don't you? Uh, Promethean, you don't have Promethean. Dang it. Unfortunately, I think we already traded with the people that have Promethean. Hi, let's be friends. Uh, do you have Promethean? You have 44. Heck yeah. You also have Eminence. Stellar Folding, potentially. I, you know what? I think I'm just going to give you, like, like, two techs and then give me a bunch of Promethean. So, like, 11. Nope, 11. Uh, I still want a little more for this, though. Uh, I guess give me antimatter then. No, you're not interested in that. Okay. You don't have a lot of credits. <sighs> yeah. Sure. That sucks. Not a great deal. Okay, so that allows me to build three more star bases, which is okay. But not as many as I would like. You don't have any either, so that kind of sucks. He hates me. So I highly doubt he's going to give me any Promethean. What if I give you espionage? Nah. Influential? Eh. You know what? Ah, I might be okay with that. Give me... Here, here's... No, I don't want to give him anything that's military. <laughs> because he could come back and bite me with that. So, hey, here's a little bit more money. And here's Xenu Archaeology. I want your Promethean, man. And then we will give you Influence Growth as well. And Frozen World Mastery. Which is completely worthless at this point. So the big jump is at 14. Can I give you a little bit of money? 58. So I'm gonna get 14 and we're gonna give you a couple techs. Really? Really? So 60. Oh my god, I hate you so much, dude. 70. Why? 100. So let's go zero and then see what it offers. One more time. Why? I don't understand why it tells you, hey, I will take this, but no, I won't. Uh, so you know what? Screw you. Screw you. And let's give you... We have so many more techs than him at this point. Here, you can have a little bit more of that. All right, fine, whatever. Okay, okay. So now we have a ton more Prometheans. We're at 29. So that means we can start upgrading some of our bases yet again. Okay, so we want to come back here. Information hub, interstellar exchange. Thank you. 
And then information hub, we can't afford that right now. We can also do titanium plating, interesting. Which just gives you more armor, which, yeah, whatever. Can we upgrade our ships? Probably. And the fact is, with all this money, we could actually start upgrading our ships. I don't think I really want to spend our money to upgrade ships, though, right now. I think I'd rather keep upgrading our star bases. Uh, so, hey, guess what? Flag waving. A sudden wave of patriotic fervor has swept across our civilization. All of our people caught up celebrating the great things we're doing, such as universal approval is incredibly rare. This seems to be an ideal opportunity to channel our people's energy into more constructive acts. Well, we have to do the approval. And the pragmatic points. Man, the benevolence nice. But, okay. Yeah, I don't really care if they're yours or not. So we got 20 more points. We're at 57 total points. We need three more. We're getting close. And then we can increase the area of effect of all our star bases. Which would potentially be good, I guess, with our culture? I don't know. I don't know if those... I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Um. Sure, I'll build our last constructor there. So, we have two going there. Uh, let's actually send you then up there. And then New Montana. Wrong button. Civilization. Trade. Zero license available. Okay. So then... Maybe more gunboats? Let's build some axes. Just for the heck of it. Uh, we made 268 off a treasury run. Cool. Yeah, those seem to be nice. Just those random treasure runs. Ah... <sighs> They do have two defending legions. And the happiness is at 100. So that might actually be what's going to hat. Uh, that's probably why it's not flipping. Is because their happiness is so high. And I don't know if there's any way to actually flip that happiness. Yeah, I don't know. One thing I can think of is, you know, just straight up invading the planet. Which, uh, as much as I would love to do that, isn't going to help us right now. Intercell exchange, please. Intercell exchange, please. You're already good. So I think all of our star bases around here are fine now. Are all fully upgraded. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Ashfield is now currently um, not quite rebelling because it's at 100% happiness. Soul is also not rebelling because it's at 100% happiness. So how do I make people less happy? <laughs> Maybe spies. You know what? Allows for training of agents that can be used to destabilize and surveil other races. Yes. So how do I build spies? Espionage. No spies available. Okay. How would I go about building a spy? Gives me diplomacy bonus. Diplomacy. Influence growth. Okay, consulate gives me influence, culture gives me influence. We may want to start looking at maybe some of these influence. I don't know. So I don't see anything here that's going to give me spies. Oh, are they citizens? They're citizens. That's why. Okay. So we need to grab some spies, and we need to lower the happiness on these planets. I think that's what we're going to have to end up doing. Okay, that's doable. That's very doable. That's very doable. Yeah, because the problem is these guys are all so freaking happy at this point, and I don't like it. <laughs> There's not really much I can do. Um, let's go, I guess, put you over here. Dang it, man. Dang it. <sighs> is there anything else to... I don't even know. We're kind of to the point where it's like, what else am I going to build? I guess we can just keep sending people on treasure hunts just to make us more money for the time being. We have another constructor ship. We have so many different constructors going up here. Um, there's no planets over there. Do we really want to start pushing against the Iconians? I guess. I guess. How's our victory conditions? Conquest are at 70%, which is kind of hilarious. Prove your military by forcing surrender of all major civilizations. How are we at 70% on that? Our influence is at 9. Okay. Technological is actually probably what's going to end up happening. <laughs> we're at 45% there. Uh, we are number 1. Actually, we're number 3 in research rank, but I'm pretty sure we're number 1 when it comes to technology. Uh, we're at 30 minutes, so I should wrap this episode up. I don't know when lunch is going to be home. Probably like 20 minutes. I don't think I can record another episode in time. 
Maybe I should go a little longer on this one as an apology for, you know, not talking there for a little bit. <laughs> I should have just, like... Had the same conversation, like, not mute the mic so you guys could hear it, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so... How long till we get our next citizen? Two weeks. Good. You know what? Let's go for that. I want to grab our citizen first. And then we're going to send him over to Drenji. And the whole goal is to flip that. I should have actually spent some time upgrading these guys because we have the money right now. So this actually increases your influence growth. Huh. Don't really need it, but sure. How's our geranium? We're down to six. Okay. So we're out of Duranium again, which is unfortunate. How are we going to get more Duranium? I have to wait a couple turns and then trade it with uh, the one guy again, perhaps. The only other thing is, okay, one, two, three, four, five. So this should be fine. One, two, three, four. So we could go here. We could go here. Yes. Here's the other thing. I wonder if we destroy star bases, do we get the cost of Duranium? Uh, sorry, of Promethean back? I don't remember. We talked about this before. I don't know if it actually happened. So what are you? You're a culture base. You're not really doing much of anything right now. So where's our Promethean? Our Promethean's not even up there because we just spent it all. So I'm going to go ahead and decommission you. Did we get our Promethean back? No. No. That sucks, actually. So the only thing then you get uh, from it is basically less, um, well, you're making more money per turn because you're not paying for the cost of it. Hmm. 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 Give me some trading treasure hunts for the time being. Uh, made some money. Cool. We have the money, unfortunately. We can't really do anything with it. Uh, because... Um, I can't upgrade any bases. Hi, thank you for the money. I don't need it, but thank you. Thank you. Okay, so soul is completely flipped. Uh, unfortunately, they're at 100% happiness. Uh, we have a new citizen, so I want to spy, please. And then I want to go here to Drenji. And I would like to play spies. Uh, okay. 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 Do we need more spies? Can't level up until assigned to a planet. Spies can be used against foreign sabotaging or countering enemy spies. So you're going to go there. And do what? Okay. Okay, so it's similar. Number of spies currently assigned. Assigning spies can destroy improvements. Okay, so what I'm thinking is happening here is this is very similar to Civ 6, where basically the spy needs to sit there for a little while, and then that's going to slowly increase our espionage level. And then once it gets high enough, I can directly place the spy. That makes some sense. Uh, okay, you're going to have to just sit here on guard. Let's go one more turn and see if the spy thing goes up at all. Same thing here. You're going to go on guard. And then we have a constructor. We can build you here? Yes. And we can't build anything there, so... We can actually... Uh, we can build some perimeter scanners now, which does increase our influence growth. <laughs> so let's do that. We'll, we'll, build, we'll build freaking scanners, man. We got money for scanners. Money for scanners for days. So sure. Yeah, give me all the scanners. Our people admire your vast power, yes. You better be afraid of my vast power, that's all I have to say. Uh, give me the scanners, give me more influence, yes. Uh. Okay, idle ship, constructors, command. Can't construct a star base because you're right there. So, like here, and like here, and like here. I hate this, it's so far away. I don't know where we got the Duranium from. We just randomly grabbed another Promethean, rather. Sorry, not Duranium. Uh, local rocks have already been claimed, so no. 
Where are these other relics? You know what? I'm gonna build it. It's only 50. This is what I'm thinking. Uh, if they accidentally destroy it, their star base, I should grab it. Like, I would immediately grab it, correct? Also... And I don't really care about anything over with you. Do we ever upgrade? Where are the relics that we are currently working on? Do we ever upgrade you? That's not the right one. Yes. Okay, just double checking on that. Then we have another ship. We'll put you in New Montana. Shipyards idle. So do the treasure hunts. Done. And then last but not least, I wanted to come back up here to Citizen. So let's look at Espionage. Let's go down Dredgen. And we're at progress one of five. Okay. So, in five turns, we should be able to do something with you. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Shouldn't the game come in? Show your support. Probably going to spend some time uh, in between episodes just playing around. We have a star base in there. Is he trying to flip me? That's a military one. Okay. No, no. I was like, what? How dare you? We will go to war over this. Um, but I'm probably going to spend some time seeing if I can uh, figure out a little more about the espionage. Also, too, um, may look and see if we can trade for some more duranium. Um, we'll just do that off camera. But for now, like I said, I'll see you guys next episode. Later. Later.